All right, guys, this is my Honda generator. It's a model EB4000X, and I have to remove the carburetor and clean it because it won't stay running. Let's get into it. All right, the very first thing we need to do is check and make sure that your fuel valve is turned off before we take the air box and then the carburetor off. Definitely make sure your fuel is off so we don't make more of a mess than we have to. To start with the cover on the air box, it's just these two clips right here. And then it should just pull off. This filter's looking pretty rough, but I did try and run it without the filter. That's not my problem. All right, next you're met with something that looks about like this. You have six eight millimeter bolts right here, and you have one that's a 10 on the bottom. So we're gonna remove those next. You're gonna find that you have a hose connected over here on the left side. We may should have done this before we pulled that cover off. Get that off. And then your inner cover should come right out. Alright, we're almost to the carburetor at this point. It's right behind this last air box. We do need to remove this hose. And these two that are in the clips right here, go ahead and pull those off. Okay. And then you have two 10 millimeter bolts holding this last cover on. should allow you to pull this cover off. We are completely disconnected. And this is what you see next. That was one of your fuel hoses that we disconnected a minute ago from the clip. You do have a gasket right here. You should be careful taking off so you don't damage it. Okay, now we're at the carburetor. There are a couple of connectors up here we have to take off. All right, just those two. Looks like everything else is disconnected. I think that should free up the carburetor for us. It just slides right off of these long bolts here. And that's what we're left with. As far as cleaning the carburetor goes, I didn't tamper with the electronics at all. I just took the bottom bolt out using a 14 millimeter wrench. You can see as soon as I take it off that there's definitely been a varnish buildup in this carburetor from the gas sitting for so long. To clean it, it was just lots of parts cleaner and a little tiny wire poked through the jets and then more parts cleaner. When you're putting the bowl back on, just make sure it's oriented the correct way or else it won't clear everything around it. Putting it back together is of course just the reverse of what we did to take it apart. Just make sure you slide the carburetor on carefully and that it seats fully against the other side. There is a gasket there so make sure that doesn't tear as well. After that, you do have to connect the two connectors on the right side and the fuel hose to the bottom. Next is the gasket. You do need to make sure it's pointed in the right direction and then you can put on the back of the air box after that. There's a hose that connects on the top and then you can put your fuel hoses and the clips on the right side. Next, your two 10 millimeter nuts that sandwich everything together, so make sure you torque them down all the way. Next, you have the back of the air box with the six 8 millimeter bolts, along with the longer 10 millimeter bolt for the bottom.
Once you get all of those tightened, just put your air filter back in along with its cover, the two clips on the right side, and there is a hose on the bottom left that you need to connect as well. All right, the moment of truth.